The friend of a drunken man left with traumatic brain injuries allegedly from a punch by Stephen Tompkinson heard a cracking as it hit the flesh but did not see him land a blow, a court heard today. The TV star is alleged to have struck Carl Poole, who was dressed only in his underpants after a dawn dip in the sea, as he made his way back to the home of Andrew Hall, Newcastle Crown Court was told. Mr. Hall said the pair had been drinking vodka and Jägermeister from around midnight until 4 a.m. on May 30, 2021 before going to see the sunrise on the beach in Whitley Bay, North Tyneside. They were making their way back past the nearby home of Mr. Tompkinson when he came out to complain about the noise and they ended up in a confrontation on the driveway at around 5.30 a.m., the jury heard. Mr. Hull said he had dropped behind Mr. Poole, 48, as they walked along but caught up and told Mr. Tompkinson that he was a social worker in a bid to calm things down. He added, we managed to get onto the path and had left the property by that point. Initially the man remained on his drive and then he came walking over. I heard the hit of flesh and Carl rapidly hit the floor. It was the same person who was on the drive. I did not see it but I heard that sound. It was the speed, the velocity the sound when he hit the ground so it was obvious what happened. It was a cracking, sound, as he hit the ground. He added, Mr. Poole was knocked out. He was snoring. I have done some training in the past and I know that can represent a serious head injury. I did panic, and I asked the man to call the police and ambulance, to call someone. Mr. Hull said that Mr. Tompkinson later showed some humanity and remorse, and was seen with his head in his hands by the roadside. A 999 call made by Mr. Hall was also played to the jury in which he told the operator that his friend had been assaulted and was snoring but otherwise unresponsive. The jury was shown an image of Mr. Poole as he lay flat out on his back by the roadside with Mr. Hall at his side. Under cross-examination, Mr. Hull said that he had not heard the sound of the blow hitting flesh and confirmed that was not in his original police statement, taken on the day of the incident. Michael Bunch, prosecuting, said that Tompkinson had confronted Poole because he was angry at the noise from the two men so early on a Sunday morning. He told the jury yesterday. This defendant, angry at the noise the two men were making, ended up punching one of them, knocking him to the floor so that he banged his head and sustained traumatic brain injuries. The defendant claims he did not more than push away the man in self-defense after the two had come towards him. Tompkinson told police he had gone out to ask the two men to move on, so they didn't disturb his partner and her child who were asleep in the house. But Mr. Bunch added, this claim of aggressive behavior by the two men is simply not supported by any of the evidence. The defendant's story is nothing more than a weak attempt by him to deflect blame onto others for his wholly unjustified aggressive actions. Nicholas Lumley KC, defending said that Mr. Poole had been drinking solidly from around 8 p.m. the night before the incident, including pints of vodka with bitter lemon while watching the Champions League final between Man City and Chelsea. He was three and a half times over the drink drive limit at 7.30 a.m. in hospital, two hours after the alleged attack. In evidence to the jury, Mr. Poole said he was in and out of consciousness for several days in hospital. He had no recollection whatsoever of what happened. Tompkinson has appeared in a string of TV hits including the lead role in ITV cop series 601 Banks, which ran from 2010 to 2016. He first hit stardom as a reporter in Drop the Dead Donkey, 
which won him the 1994 British Comedy Award for Best TV Actor. He became a household name as Father Peter Clifford in Ballycus Angel in 1996, when he also appeared in hit movie Brast Off. Tompkinson, of Tynemouth, North Tyneside, denies unlawfully and maliciously inflicting grievous bodily harm. The trial continues, 